Becky, welcome back to my channel. I have another Disney video for you guys. You guys know I love making Disney videos for you and I have an entire Disney playlist of tons of videos about packing and planning and tips and tricks and all kinds of good stuff in my Disney playlist. I'll have it linked for you guys in the description box if you wanna watch even more Disney videos. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys eight things that I've never done at Disney, but I probably should and you probably should too. But a little bit of a backstory, we are definitely a Disney family. We go every single year. Our girls have both been going since they were two. I've been every year since I was about nine. I missed a couple years here and there when I was pregnant. But for the most part, we go every year. One year we went twice. So it's definitely a big part of our life. Disney is a huge part of our lives. And as many times as we've been there, there are still some things that we haven't done. And the first thing we haven't done is to be there at rope drop. We're not morning people. I understand the benefits of like getting there early and getting to ride some things like first thing in the morning before anybody else gets there and it's super crowded. Um, but it's just something we've never done. I don't like to get the girls up really early when we're on vacation. We've learned over the years that it's best just to let them sleep in a little bit than it is to try to get them up super early and get there and everybody's grumpy and none of us are morning people. So we've never done it, but, but it is definitely a good way to get some more rides in. If you get there first thing in the morning when they first open, the rides are a lot less backed up and it's especially a good idea if maybe you didn't get a fast pass for a certain ride that you really wanted to ride, it would be a good way to get there early and maybe get in a line that's much, much shorter because they just opened versus waiting until later in the morning or afternoon and then going and getting in line for this ride and having to wait forever. So I've never been there at Rope Drop, but I probably should at least once just to see how much of a, different make, how much of a difference it makes um, in the wait times. The second thing I've never done at Disney is any of the water parks or any of the water rides. Now the water rides I don't do just because I don't like being wet, especially with clothes on. I think it's disgusting. I've done it at other theme parks and you're, I'm personally miserable all day and I hate it. I don't ever go to the water parks because, a couple reasons, the main thing is I don't want to give up time at the actual like theme parks like Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, or Epcot. I don't want to give up time at those parks to go to a water park. And I don't like getting wet. I don't wear bathing suits. I don't enjoy being in the sun too much because I'm really fair and so I would burn or freckle or whatever. And I'm afraid of water. So a water park to me would actually be a punishment. I would not like to go to a water park. Now, if they stayed open late, like very late afternoon, early dusk, maybe I would go to some of the things. Um, maybe like if they had a lazy river or something like that, just to kind of mosey in but not get my head wet not have to get underwater because I don't like getting underwater then maybe but they always close fairly early from what I've under from what I have seen and so they're like the hot of the day the peak sun Ugh, I just I, I don't know I have no desire to get wet with clothes on or with a bathing situation on I don't really want to do that so never been to a water park I've also never been on any of the behind the scenes tours there are actually quite a few that I would really like to do I just never have made the time for it but some of the ones I would like to do the most is there's a dolphin kind of experience at Epcot in the seas there is a behind the seeds tour at the land, uh, like the food boat ride in the land at Epcot that I would really, I think it's really neat. I love the land boat ride, it's one of my favorites. Um, and I think it'll be really interesting to go behind the scenes there and see kind of how they grow things and all that stuff. So that would be really neat. But I've never done any of the tours and I would really like to at some point. Another thing I've never done at Disney is the safari ride at night. In Animal Kingdom, they have the Kilimanjaro Safari, which is one of my very favorite rides. So it kind of surprises me that I haven't done it at night. But honestly, Animal Kingdom hasn't been open at night for very many years. I think it's just been, what, two, three years maybe? And I'm just now getting used to Animal Kingdom being open at night at all. Like, because before they would always close at five or six every night. They never stayed open late. Well, then they started adding like the nighttime show and they added the nighttime safari. That was a couple years ago. And I just never, and we stay at night. Like we'll stay until park closes when they're open like that. You know, and we'll do the Rivers of Light show and we'll do stuff like that. But it just never, I don't know. I just never, never made it back over there to ride the safari at night. Now I have heard a couple reports that it's not as good at night because a lot of the animals are kind of, you know, hiding and all that stuff because it's nighttime. Um, but I would like to kind of see it and experience it for myself just to see, you know, if we see something different or how the situation works with like lighting, like how you're even able to see them at night. I don't really know how they figured that out. 
So it's something I haven't done, but I definitely do want to. The fifth thing that I have never done at Disney, but probably should, is a fireworks dessert party. But basically, it is like a reserved section where you have an amazing view of the fireworks, and then they have special desserts that they serve, and you do have to pay extra but you get that reserved spot and you get those special treats and all that stuff. So I think it'd be really fun. It's just not, never anything that we've set aside time or budget for, but I do think it's a really neat idea and I would like to do it at some point. The sixth thing that I have never done at Disney is stay at a deluxe resort. I've stayed at a couple of the value ones, but you guys know if you've watched me for a while that Port Orleans Riverside is my home. It is my favorite resort. It is where I belong and it's a moderate resort. So it's not the most expensive and it's not the cheapest. But I really, I mean, I don't mind, I wouldn't mind to try out other resorts. Like the Animal Kingdom Lodge, I think looks really, really neat. But I don't wanna give up Riverside to stay there. So it's kind of like I'm conflicted in that way. And I take that back. We did actually stay at Saratoga Springs for a couple days of our trip in 2017 because the people we were traveling with, my parents, um, they actually moved over there from Riverside. And so because we wanted to be together, you know, we switched rooms too. And even though it's an amazing resort and it was a huge room, like my kids had their own bedroom, my husband and I had our own bedroom, we had like all these bathrooms, like it was crazy. It was a really beautiful and neat resort, but it was not home to me. And I, I feel like for me, honestly, part of the experience, if not almost more of the experience of Disney for me is the resort. Not even that I spend that much time there. I mean, we eat there for breakfast sometimes and we like to walk over to the resort, uh, like the main building and stuff at night. We walk over the bridges and we've done the Surrey bicycle ride and we've done the horse strong carriage ride. We do things like that, but we're not people that like stay in the resort all day and go to the pool. We're just not pool people, or I'm not. Um, but just being there, coming back to that resort every night after the parks, waking up every morning in that resort is just... It's home to me. It's where I have stayed every year since I was a little girl, back when it was called Dixie Landings. They renamed it, you know, I don't know, sometime in the last 20 years or so. But it's home to me. And when I pull in and they say, welcome home, it really gets me because it really truly does feel like home. And I get homesick for Disney and for Riverside. So even though I know there are so many beautiful deluxe resorts and I'm not saying I'll never stay in one or that I've never thought about how neat it would be to stay here or there, I really just love Riverside and I love going home to Riverside. So maybe one day, but for now, I'm gonna stick with Riverside. Another thing that I've never done at Disney is a Disney cruise. People keep telling me how amazing they are and how I need to do one since we're such big Disney people. And that's probably true. So maybe one of these days I will do a Disney cruise. It's just something that we've never done yet. And the last Disney thing that we've never done is the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now. We did go, the year we went twice, we went in May like we always do, and then we went again in December, early December. So we didn't have all the terrible like Christmas crowds, but it was still like everything was decorated for Christmas and they had the icicles on the castle, like it was amazing. And we did go to the Mickey's uh, Christmas party, very Merry Christmas party. And that's a special ticketed event, but we did go to that. But it was fun because they had like the special parade and the fireworks show and the light show and all that stuff. And they were giving out cookies and hot cocoa. Like it was really fun. And I've heard a lot of great things about the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I'm not a big Halloween person, but I love fall. And people say that even if you're not a Halloween person, that the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is like incredible. Somebody even told me that it's better than the Christmas party. So... At some point, I would like to go to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I think it'll be fun for us all to dress up as a family and go to this because like I said, here at home, Halloween is not something we get terribly excited about. I mean, my husband usually has to work. We're not big candy people, so we're not really interested in like trick or treating. But I do think that the, Vic the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party would be fun. And it's definitely, it's definitely something on my Disney bucket list. So maybe one of these days we will go in the fall. Um, I don't know if it'll be instead of in May, but maybe in addition to May. I'm not sure. Let's cross our fingers. And so those are my eight things that I have not done at Disney, but I probably should, and you probably should too. If you've done some of these things, definitely let me know in the comments. How did it work for you? Or if you want to do some of these things too, let me know. I'd be interested to hear kind of what you haven't done at Disney that you want to. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Disney playlist in the description box where you will find every single Disney video I have ever made. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.